Rod Cafer joins me in commentary. Contrasting styles of both teams as Samoa gets the game underway and immediately the penalty, a player and taken out. And so an ideal one. opportunity. Ueli Mai gets it away this time. Lolo Louis in time for Trevor Anus and then for McKayley. Good defence by Australia out wide. They move it again through the hands of Uali Mai. Senio, he's lost the ball, popped it away. A chance for Australia, but the ball eludes him. Both these sides, Rod, have come out to play in this semi-final, this quarter-final. That's right. The, um, both teams played well yesterday. Glenn Ella looks on, coach of Australia, veteran of the Seven Circuit as a player and a coach. Hoping that um, the Australian side can repeat some of the form that they showed yesterday in patches. Tim Atkinson and Mackay both carrying injuries into this quarterfinal. Now, Lucas it goes out for Cornforth. Hands away! Australia pinned down in their own line again. Now, Billy Ratu. Inman takes it to the quarter line. Support there in Mackay. They've turned it over. Uali Mai gets the pass away this time. Good play for Pesamino, and he will go through to score the first try for Samoa in this quarterfinal. And he went so close to the dead ball line, Rod. Mackay Pesamino, abundance of pace. Very, very quick player. Fifth try so far in the tournament. Turnover ball here. Luke Inman just getting caught, unable to free the hands, hits the ground hard, the ball pops out. Ulimai, knowing where the space is, Pesamino just puts the foot down, crosses right to the edge, scores the try, millimetres from the dead ball line. So the Samoan flag flying high, Pesamino with his fifth try in the tournament so far here at the Adelaide Oval. Yesterday, Samoa defeated Scotland 26-10, Portugal 50-0 and Argentina 19-17 to win a spot in this cup quarter-final. Now the restart by Uili Mai. Ratu goes up and he's spilled it forward, so too bad. Pick-offs for the Australians have turned over possession on both times, and that's for Arionga, a very powerful player in the Samoan side. They go on the short side, now they come open side through Senio. Senio has Uili Mai outside, goes on his own, and Australia's defence tested. Who will he buy? Out for Pesamino again, and he goes in for try number two. And this is just the start Samoa wanted. The uh, great skills of Uwali Mai, looking for where the space is, looking for where the space is and finding it. Offload from the ground to keep the ball alive. The low tackle here, and the ball out the back door. What a great little seed, Mai. Throws to the quick man, the pace, Pesamino, and he's in the corner. We've mentioned so many times how important the restarts are, and the Australians have turned over position both times, punished in the most severe way. I felt Billy Ratu actually had the time not to go up in the air for the ball. The, what, the chase wasn't great, the kick a little bit long, as we watch the conversion fade out to the right, but must do better on those restarts. It's such a critical part of the Sevens game. 31 tries all up for Pesamino, a try scoring machine. And this side is controlled so beautifully by the man with the ball in his hand at the moment, Uli Mai. 28 year old, made his debut way back in 2001. Now Mackay, big, strong, powerful man. Look at those legs drive. Australia arrive at the breakdown with Cornforth. Then it goes out through Lucas. In turn, for Inman, and now they swing it back the other way through Ratu, but good defence, no, it was poor defence, and he's made great inroads. Turned it back again to Atkinson, and Australia, 10 metres inside the attacking half. And a chance now for the Australians as they go wide, but they spill it. And Sartoya dropped the ball with the line open, Mackay was looming on his outside. Australia battling to come back into this match with 2.28 remaining in the first half. The Samoans using this aggressive form of defence that we've seen from them, really pressuring the Australian side when they've got the ball in hand, coming forward, 
putting their ball players under pressure and forcing those errors. Crouch. In Hong Kong last week, Rod, they came out like this against Fiji, and Fiji fought back in the opening match this tournament against Scotland. They chalked up 26 points, and Scotland came back in the second half. So they do become a little frail when they open up a big lead, although they went on with it yesterday with Portugal. One of the Minnow Nations where they raked up 50 points. It was just a try scoring machine yesterday in game two. Now Senio out for Uali Mai. Stepping run. Good defence by Australia. That's the 22 metre line at Samoa's end of the ground. Advantage to the Australians. And a penalty. Back, back, back on them, on the line. Now patience by the Australians here. Must be deliberate in their build up. Great tackle, Senio. That's Ant Sauer, number three, spinning it wide with Cornforth, the grandson of a great international, Roger Cornforth of the 50s, and a beautiful pass over the top. Play on. Lucas, great pass, and Diliame Ratu goes in for his first try of the tournament. And it's a timely one for the Australians with the kick adjacent to the posts. I think if the Australian team can shoot the balls wide out to the sideline. The fast pressing, pressing defence from the Samoans can be caught back in the middle of the field as we see here. Ben Lucas has got, we spoke about yesterday, wonderful footwork. The defence will sometimes overrun it on the outside and there will be those opportunities for someone with good feet in the middle of the field to find a runner coming straight and hard and uh, Billy Raptors over for the try next to the post. Kick to come, 12-5 at the moment with a conversion yep. yeah. with only 45 seconds left till half time. Well, the conversion attempt is wide of the mark, so 12-5 the scoreline. Ratu, of course, is the cousin of the Wallaby Radiki Samo, who you uh, were in contact with the Brumbies with uh, what a man he was. Great player, would have been a great addition to the seventh circuit, no question, as he was a, what the, the Wallaby playing in Japan at the moment. Final seconds of the first half. Inman went up and Off knocked point. it forward. Oh, he said play on. Now Cornforth. Australia now, clock ticking away. This is the final play of this first half. It's gone so quickly, but a chance for the Australians. He's a tackler. And that's half time. It's a more ground. It's a more so ground. a frenetic first half rod that sees Australia trail the host nation. Australia trails Samoa 12-5 after Samoa got away to a handy 12 0 lead. Might go to the Australian huddle. Glenn Eller, normally very composed. Let's listen to his words of advice. We maintain the ball. We can actually take the game to these guys. Let's not shit ourselves what we did in the first five minutes. When we get the ball, we really have a go at them. Believe in yourselves, OK? Hold the ball as long as you can. Clean out the, the, uh, the clean out. Let's play with width. Because I'm going to get the guys, uh, Timmy, and uh, Benny starts to step, okay? Well, that was real good. So yeah, Hunting was fucking hold it. The D's real good, boys. This is good. It's got to keep working away. Make sure think... we work hard in D. That's all we got to do. The only thing that's going to let us down is a lapse of concentration, <laughs> bad missed tackle, a turnover the ball. They're the simple things. You do the simple things right, we'll win the game. Kick off hold the ball. Let's keep working well. Anything. He's ah, suggesting is Sevens like, Rugby is not rocket science, Rod. Right? Pretty simple stuff, isn't it? It is. Interesting you noted there. Play with width. They want to try to stretch this defence, as we spoke about before. There are opportunities for the quick-stepping guys, Atkinson and Lucas. Great footwork, the pair of them in the middle of the field. That's where the opportunities will be. Look after the ball, take it wide, and then pick, pick the big hitters off in the middle of the field. So, Samoa is such an important... Seven minutes for them with the points on offer. They're currently tied in uh, second place with New Zealand behind Fiji in the race for the IRB Series Championship this year. They can ill afford to go out the back door in this quarter final.
so Lucas gets the play underway for the Australians. Expect the Australians to confront the Samoans in the second half. They've got wonderful pace out wide, this Samoan side. There's Tessamino, a two-try scorer in the first half. Sedio out for Ueli Mai. In turn, it goes out for McKayley, and then Trevor Reynas, five tries for his credit already. Oh, good defence on Farayonga. Now Sedio, they spread it wide, throws the pass back in for McKayley. Great support play, Samoa, and Tessamino gets his hat trick. What a try by Samoa. Fantastic use of angled runners. Bessamino, another try. Runners coming from depth, coming at different angles through the middle of the field. The use of the ball wide. The Australian defence defended very, very well. The capacity to offload the ball in the tackle, just the numbers worked their way from the kickoff to score the try. Classic Sevens rugby. So we saw the wonderful support of the Kenyans when they defeated England in the first of the uh, quarterfinals and the Samoans have got great support as well as the kick is wide but it's 17 points to five and Australia now with the job at hand. So McKayley Tessalino now skips ahead of William Ryder of Fiji as the most tries scored in this season's uh, series. Round six, the final two rounds are in London and in Edinburgh. The teams have come here from Hong Kong, the first ever Sevens tournament here in Adelaide. And it's been a wonderful success over the two days. Huali Mai with the restart. It's the part of the play that has struggled with the Australians. And that no, had to be off accidental forward. offside. It's popped off Australia. Scrub. Didn't have much option but to catch it. Lucas off for the shoulder injury. Should Australia lose this match? Touch. They will then face England in a plate semi-final. Australia feed versus it. England at the Adelaide Oval. Ryder's got a good ring to it. It has. Last time they were both here. Australia a marvellous victory in the Test Series. But it's rugby. Sevens as Samoa used the ball in the middle of the field. Senio on the 10 metre line. Out it goes for McKayley, then Trevor Anus. Farionga. Now it's away. Beautiful play, Wali Mai. Oh, he's a gifted player, sensational player. Try time Samoa. You get an idea of why he was player of the tournament last weekend in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, Kuali Mai. The pace, the footwork, the distribution game. Happy about his sevens rugby. He's been reasonably quiet here in Adelaide, but come the big games, the good players rise to the occasion. He's been outstanding so far. Just the playmaking role that he plays in the Samoan team. He hasn't probably needed to exert himself, as you say, Fordo, the capacity of the really great players to lift themselves when it really counts. As we see the conversion just out to the left-hand side. So it's shaping very much as a semi-final between Kenya and Samoa. And I can tell you, the support in the crowd here at the Adelaide Oval for both teams is absolutely outstanding. This will be carnival time later this afternoon in the early evening here at the Adelaide Oval as the IRB 7s for Adelaide comes to a climax. Still some wonderful football to be played here. Advantage is over. Now the replacement player on is uh, Wright, Tim Wright. A bust away by Wright, great power, great strength, beautiful pass inside, but it's gone forward. Tim Cornforth loses control. Australia throwing caution to the wind with two and a half minutes remaining. Tim Wright played very well yesterday. I was surprised he wasn't in the team to start this morning as we see Samoa top try scorer in this tournament so far. Scrum, yeah, they're ball. Seven. Seven. We've got a couple of outstanding quarterfinals coming up. Sorry, sorry, number nine. To nine. whet your appetite. Now, called forth, it appears, is coming off. Coming on for Samoa is Salisa. 
<laughs> and Tessamino, I think it is coming off for. <laughs> Crouch. Touch. So Uli Mai to feed the scrum. Square. Pressured there by Atkinson. They got the ability to strike from inside their quarter line. Here they go. Look at the support looming. The kick forward. Taken by Australia. Inman. In fact, it's uh, He's actually Milton lost the that's secured the ball. Don't think that you're going to let it go. trick to his credit. Job well done. Rising to the occasion of the big match, the quarterfinal. Touch. Trevor Sino on this side. Engage. A tight head. Has been a terrific player in the tournament so far. Disrupting the ball. Stop. Now Atkinson carried injury into this uh, quarterfinal. Away for Inman. In turn for right. Great defence. Look at the pressure. Coming in there is uh, Otto, the number 11. Minute 20 remain. Australia trying to counter attack. And Nathan Triss bundled in a touch. But he got the Ten pass back eight. inside from Akai. Seven That's Triss now at the scrum at the base of the ruck. Six blue. Spinning it wide. So, Bandages darting over. run. And Sao goes through to score the try. His fourth in the tournament so far for the Australians. His 23rd try in IRB7's career. But it's come far too late for the Australians with just 40 seconds remaining on the clock. He's played well. And Sao, as has Tim Atkinson and Ben Lucas through this tournament. Lovely big step off the left foot from the Brothers Club in Queensland. Pace to get him to the line. Scoring the try. Nice mullet hairdo. We love that here in Australia. Stick up in Queensland. So it appears, well, it's, it is certain Kenya will now face Samoa in the Cup semi final. In the plate semi final, the two losers of the Cup quarter finals, England and Australia, to do battle. Later in the afternoon, that for Samoa, the winners of the Hong Kong tournament, who Ali Mai takes a breather, they'll need him later this afternoon as the action hots up on day two of the Adelaide Sevens. That's Lolo Louie. He's quite happy to put it into touch. Right out of this. 16 seconds of play remain. Samoa have served notice, no, Rod. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. Looked very good. They just did enough. We've, Stay ten. we've seen them Stay. just lift as much as they need to as Australia yeah, try to get a consolation try here at the end. 22 top points yeah, to top 10. Points. The game's over. Samoa have it wrapped up and will progress. Well, they led by 12-5 at half time. On the ground. They got away to a terrific start with Pesamino scoring two early tries. Is over. Finally end up with a hat trick before taking a well earned rest. Here's the Australians with Mackay. The last chance for the Australians, they've got numbers out wide. And it will be Milton that goes through to score the try, Luke Milton. 25th try, career try, he's second here in Adelaide. And so, at the end of the day, the scoreline flatters the Australians. Yeah, Samoa were always in control of that game after getting off to that early lead. 12 points to five. Just not enough in juice in the tank for the Aussie boys. To get home, the kick, it's good. It's a beauty. So here at the Adelaide Oval, Samoa advances to the Cup semi-finals. Into the plate semi-finals are Australia to face England. It's Samoa to face Kenya. The final score, Samoa 22, Australia 17.